And welcome back to who the week who would win. Today's who would win comes to us from Quincy Nicholas, who asked the question, who would have a fight? The team of Dante, Virgil, and Zero from Devil May Cry versus Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji from uh, One Piece. Now, I've, I'm taking your requests. I'm doing those requests no matter what type of concept it is, no matter how long this video goes, be it long or short. But you guys lately have been, I mean, from the ones I've been choosing of the suggestions that I've been given, You've been giving me some pretty beat-down suggestions. What I mean by that is it's a pretty one-sided fight a lot of the time in the last couple ones. This one's no exception, because let's let's break this down real quick. I'll start with the One Piece side of it. Zoro does not have a double fruit ability, meaning he did not eat a fruit and gained a special power from it. But he is a master swordsman capable of the three-sword style. Um, and I'm going to basically just give you a general idea of their abilities, because it's going to come down for the reason that I'll get to later on. Uh, but he's... One of the probably one of the most skilled swordsmen in the series, capable of cutting metal, beating other people without even think, without trying. He can move as fast. He can move within the blink of an eye. He's fast, basically faster than a human eye can travel. He can move faster than like a bullet, basically. Um, he can infuse his hockey to tar toughen up his blades even more, uh, kind of like an armor. Excuse me. He's extremely resilient. Can take a lot of punishment. Uh, Sanji. Now Sanji, if I remember correctly. I know I don't read or watch One Piece that much. Uh, I know enough about it usually, and even then I can um, usually um, usually uh, just look it up. Like right now, I'm just double checking on Sanji in terms of his skill. As far as I remember, Sanji's ability, Sanji, 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 I believe it is. Sanji's abilities, like his fighting style, revolves very heavily on like kicks and things along those long uh, along those lines. Um, yeah, another a leg combat style. Uh, however, he's also quite tactical and has a high willpower. And if I'm in wit, and if I'm not mistaken, he ate after Luffy's brother died. Um, black leg style. So he's got, he kicks out. Yeah, he ate the, uh, the, he ate the, what's it called? Not the, which devil fruit is it? Um, where are you? I know he ate one of the devil fruits. He ate the fire, like the flame, flame fr fruit. Yeah, flame, flame fruit. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see here now. Uh, didn't he? I could have sworn he. I could have swore he ate the, uh, the flame fruit. The flame, flame fruit. Because there was a tournament that fruit was up for grabs, and he gained that ability. Am I? Am I not remembering that right? Uh. Maybe I'm not remembering that right. Hold on. He got a does he have a devil fruit? Uh, maybe he doesn't have a devil fruit. I could have sworn he ate a devil fruit. Maybe he wasn't the one who ate the flame, uh, the flame, flame fruit. Uh, whoever, whatever the um, Japanese equivalent of that would be. Uh, Diablo Jama in the Inti's lobby reveals a new ability. Jama power to heat his legs, lower temperatures so high they glow bright. Uh, attack more powerful Diablo means devil in French. So, I mean, he can basically, like, set his feet on fire, more or less. But, that's... Sanji's able to quickly, uh, block, uh, deflect, uh, Gomo Gomo no Bazooka. Okay, so he can, like, block other devil fleet users with such a powerful technique. That doesn't tell me whether or not it was from a devil fruit. So, I guess he... Did not eat a devil fruit. That I could have sworn he ate a devil fruit. Um, I guess I'm. I guess I might remembered that wrong. Point being, though, he's a very physically capable individual, a good tactician, weapons user, all that. And then Luffy, being the main protagonist, is kind of one of the stronger care is probably the strongest member of the Straw Hats crew, being that he has the Gomu Gomu no Mi. He's a rubber man. Stretch his body. He can. He has different gears to enhance his physicality. Third gear, you know, a second gear, you know, enhances his physicality even more. Third gear, he can inflate his body parts to giant sizes. Fourth gear is a combination of Bouncing Man and uh, Snake Man. Uh, so one for giant strength and one for speed. Uh, but, and I don't think he has a fifth gear right now. Uh, does he? I don't think he does. I, I don't, again, I don't follow One Piece. Luffy. Oop. Luffy Gear 5. Is that a thing? Uh, okay, yeah, we'll give it, to conclude, yes, yeah, so we'll need a power to be Kaido, but it won't be gear 5, it'll be another form of gear 4, quite possibly high, because, yeah, yeah, he doesn't have a gear 5 right now. 
Um, more than likely he'll get it by the at some point. But here's the overall problem with this versus. Because A, it's a three-on-three three fight, which means the, you're not having the Straw Hat crew gang up on just one of them. I will say this. If all three of them could gang up on one of them, maybe there's a small percentage of a chance, uh, small percentage they could win. But the problem is each one would be in a one-on-one -on -one fight, and if they could get win, then they'd go and aid one of the other guys. Dante, Virgil, and Zero, and Zero I honestly didn't know about today, but I looked him up, are all half-human, half-demons who defeat demons that are far beyond the Straw Hat crew's capabilities on a regular basis. Then you factor in the fact that they can move so fast that they create a vacuum cone, Virgil and Dante alone, in a rainstorm while training with their swords. Then you move on to the fact that Dante's regeneration is so high that nothing short of decapitation would kill him. And even then, there's no guarantee on that. You have to pretty much destroy his brain or incinerate him completely. Otherwise, he can survive impalement, you know, taking a limb off. Virgil wields Yamato, which can, in theory, cut through dimensions. Dante has many weapons that are designed just to blow up demons' heads. Zero can do astral... Unfortunately, this, these are guys who just, like, here's the Straw Hat crew. While Dante and his crew aren't, like, all the way to the ceiling, they're, like, all the way up here, comparatively. They're just characters who don't fit power-wise into the Straw, into uh, the One Piece power structure. And, like, if Luffy can't even be, I mean, don't get it, can't even be. If Luffy can't be Kaido, uh, who is one of the strongest characters in the series, Ka and Kaido, I doubt, could beat Dante or anything like uh, any of them like that. I'd have to do an actual versus to really bring it out. But if these guys went head down, first off, Luffy would charge in, so would Zoro, and I think Sanji might stay back. Dante might, you know, shoot at them. The run now, to be fair, Luffy's durability would present a mild conundrum for him. Like at least with their firearms, they they wouldn't really be able to pierce Luffy because he's a rubber man. Even though his gun can blow up demon heads, but again, it's different type of durability, different context. The, the, but again, the problem would be after that he would just either, he would just move to his blade, and then at that point, rubber is not immune to being cut at all. So, and Luffy, you know, as powerful he is, he's never gone up against anything as powerful as some of the stuff that Dante and his crew have gone up against. So if these guys went toe to toe, it would be Dante, Virgil, and Zero who make it out on top. That there's no doubt in my mind. But I want to know what you think. Do you think it is Dante, Virgil, or Zero 100 percent time? Which I am saying. Or do you think Luffy and Sanji, Sanji and Zoro can pull out at least a couple percentages of a win? Or can they pull out the majority? I highly don't, I really don't think so, but I'd be curious to hear what you think. Anyway, though, my thought is, yeah, Zoro, Virgil, and Dante take the win the basically 100% of the time. I don't see a realistic scenario because of just how high these guys' regenerations and healing factors are, when alone, now, not including their durability, strength, and everything else. That where Luffy and the gang can really come out on top. Even if he had the entire Straw Hat Pirates against him, I really don't think they'd come out on top or come out for a win. But again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Excuse me. As always, you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll get to a review of it at some point. Uh, so, all of What If, Who Would Win, and Box Office tomorrow. So keep your eyes out for that. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.